Welcome to the Transparency Stars webinar for the Open Government and Compliance Award. This webinar is hosted by the Data Analysis and Transparency Division of the Texas Comptroller of Public Accounts. This is the sixth in a series of webinars dedicated to instructing applicants on the criteria and application process for the Comptroller's Transparency Stars program. In this webinar, we will cover the following items with regards to the Open Government and Compliance Award application process. General criteria for award submissions, Open Government and Compliance guidelines, the application process, and keeping your award page in good standing. The Open Government and Compliance STAR requires six areas of evaluation, a dedicated web page specific to the award, a narrative summary of the key data and information. This is usually done in table format through a mixture of text and visuals is acceptable, at least two graphic representation of key information, which should be interactive and clearly labeled, any pertinent documentation for the award category, including audits, reports, bond election information, bids and contracts from the previous five years, relevant video or streaming data hosted either locally on your website or externally on social media as the case may be. And lastly, any other pertinent information such as GASB statements, lookup tools, agreements, or other relevant information from the most recently completed fiscal year. The idea of open and transparent governance in the United States has its roots in our desire to be governed by a representative and accountable body of lawmakers. Consistent with this line of thought, the State of Texas Open Meetings Act was designed to articulate the rights of Texans to redress grievances with the governing officials. Local governments demonstrate their good faith efforts by publishing their agendas, live streaming their meetings, and making video archives available. For the purpose of this award, only meetings of your entity's governing body will be evaluated for compliance with this criteria. However, you can include additional publicity stream meetings as part of your archives. Use the following guidelines and add the required documentation to your entity's dedicated award webpage to qualify for the Open Government and Compliance Transparency Star. Post a summary table or listing of the following information items to aid in researching the governing structure of your entity. The names of each member of the governing body, board, or commission, including the presiding officer. Examples of governing bodies include a school board, city council, commissioner's court, executive board, board of regents, board of directors, etc. The number of scheduled meetings per calendar year with the frequency of meetings such as quarterly, weekly, or monthly. The process for board or commission appointment or elections including the application and process of submission. An explanation of the time frame for meeting videos, streams, or audio to be posted on a web page upon completion. Meetings must be posted no later than 72 hours after its conclusion or within three business days. A statement that meetings, minutes, agendas, videos, etc. will be available to the public for a period of not less than one year from the meeting date, either on demand or upon request. This should include instructions on how to request copies of videos or audio files if applicable. And the name, phone number, and email address of the board or commission point of contact. Post visualizations to your transparency page showing the following an organizational chart of your entity including all divisions, supervisors, and full-time positions, employee names are optional. A meeting calendar with all scheduled meetings to include date, time, and location for in-person meetings. Please specify if the meetings will be streaming only. Calendar must be updated monthly, yearly, or as applicable. Post the following downloadable documents or link documents to your dedicated award page the last three complete years of agendas and meeting minutes in compliance with the Public Information Act with the most recent being not more than 90 days old. A link to or copy of the most recently published Texas Open Meetings Act handbook. And a link to or copy of the most recently published Public Information Act handbook. Make the following available for viewing or download. All live stream transmission or streams of governing body meetings as they occur, and a shareable archive or listing of all governing body meetings for the last 90 days for download or streaming, 
Both audio and visual meetings are acceptable as downloads. Videos hosted on external websites like Facebook or YouTube must include directions on how to obtain a copy from your entity. Login credentials can not be required as a condition for reviewing or requesting archived materials. You may wish to include archived or streamed meetings of related board or commissions as applicable. Your transparency page should also include the following a link to or a copy of all mandatory transparency reports applicable to your entity per fiscal year. All reports must be from the most recently completed reporting year. For schools or community college district, this includes a local government debt report, applicable eminent domain, and a special purpose district report. For cities or counties, it should include a local government debt report, applicable eminent domain, a hotel occupancy tax report, and applicable economic development corporation reporting. If your entity is a county, then also include sheriff and constable fees. For special purpose districts, it should include an SPD report and a local government debt report. Once you have gathered the required documents and other materials, you will need to create your designated award page. Then submit a web link to our office through the online application form. Once this is completed, you will be contacted by a member of our team with any needed revisions or additions to your application. This contact will be in email form. From there, your application will undergo an administrative review by our Transparency Division staff and our Audit and Enforcement Divisions before final approval. Additional materials applicants may find useful are available on the Open Government and Compliance Star page on the right-hand side of the screen. These include a checklist, summary forms, and templates for the organizational chart visuals. These optional tools are meant to serve as supplemental assistance to the general guidelines. After you are awarded a Transparency Star, your webpage is subject to review by our analysts at any time to verify that you are keeping your award page up to standard required by the Comptroller's office. Your organization is ultimately responsible for keeping up with the guidelines and updating your page to remain in compliance. For questions or concerns regarding your application, please feel free to contact us at transparency.stars@cpa.texas.gov or by phone at 844- 519-5676. You can also contact the Transparency Stars coordinator directly at the information shown on screen. Thank you very much for watching.